liver diseases are extremely snaky. For example, about 2 million people around the world die annually from cirrhosis and liver cancer. At first, they do not make themselves felt at all and obvious symptoms appear only in the severe stages. You may be surprised to learn that your own feet can help you detect liver problems. There are symptoms that you may not find important, but they can be signs of liver disease. For example, small brown spots or spider veins on the legs. In this video, we will tell you what exactly you should pay attention to. The liver consists of 500,000 individual liver lobules, which can only be seen through a microscope. Each lobule is permeated with arteries, veins, bile ducts, nerves and lymphatic vessels. Red and brown spots. Such spots can appear on the legs below the knees. They are usually small and of different sizes. They look like a rash and shine in the light. Their appearance is associated with circulatory disorders and deterioration of the vessels. Such spots may appear due to liver failure because of which blood pressure decreases and blood vessels dilate. For example, with hepatitis, spots appear immediately after ingress of infection or when the disease turns into a chronic form. A healthy liver is 10% fat, regardless of whether a person is overweight. Spider and varicose veins. Starbursts or spider veins are groups of dilated vessels located very close to the surface of the skin. Sometimes, with a red spot in the center. They look like a spider web. A person with a sick liver usually notices several dilated vessels that appear at once. Sometimes this is accompanied by the development of varicose veins. Spider veins on the legs appear due to an increase in estrogen levels, which affect the vessels. Estrogen levels increase either during pregnancy or with chronic liver diseases. A large number of spider veins often indicates fibrosis, cirrhosis or alcoholic hepatitis. According to the Stat Pills Library, the appearance of a large number of vascular asterisks indicates liver disease with a 95% probability. The liver has an amazing ability to regenerate. Even if a person has 80% of this organ removed, the remaining 20% is enough for the liver to recover to its previous size. Cracks on the heels. Vitamins A and E are responsible for skin health, but for their assimilation, it is necessary that the liver normally secretes bile and for the bile to enter the duodenum on time. Cracked heels may indicate chronic liver disease, which led to problems with bile, namely Stagnation of bile due to stones or infections of the bile ducts. Production of bile in insufficient quantities. The viscosity of bile is improper. If you ignore the problems with stagnation of bile, this can eventually lead to inflammation of the gallbladder, liver failure and cirrhosis. Itching in the foot. Itching of the lower part of the feet often occurs in people with chronic liver diseases, especially associated with damage to the bile ducts an impaired bile outflow. In people with primary biliary cirrhosis, itching of the feet or palms occurs in 70% of cases. Itching is caused by the accumulation of bile salts under the skin, as well as an increase in histamine levels. The human liver filters blood at the rate of 1.4 liters per minute. Unpleasant smell of the feet. Our skin not only protects us from damage, but it also helps to remove poisons from the body. Toxins and metabolic products are released through the sweat glands. When the kidneys are not working well, the body is trying to compensate for this by releasing even more toxins through the skin. Because of this, sweat gets an unpleasant smell. And first of all, it is the legs that begin to smell unpleasant. You may ask, what does the liver have to do with it? All our organs are closely interconnected. You can't have a sick liver and at the same time absolutely healthy kidneys. Liver diseases lead to the accumulation of toxins and disruption of blood flow, which ultimately affects both kidneys and the rest of the organs. Liver transplantation is the second most common transplantation of organs. But the demand is much higher than the offer. A new liver is transplanted only to 10% of those in need. Swelling of the feet. Swelling or edema is the accumulation of fluid in the tissues. With 
liver diseases, the feet may swell. It's not difficult to diagnose edema. When pressing a finger on the swollen surface, a dent appears, which remains for a long time. Swelling of the legs is a late symptom, caused by portal hypertension or decreased albumin levels. This symptom often manifests itself in the evening after physical exertion. Cirrhosis often causes edema. The disease slows down the normal blood flow through the liver. Because of this, the pressure in the portal vein increases, which leads to the accumulation of fluid in the legs and in the abdominal cavity. Swelling of the legs might also be caused by the kidney condition called nephrotic syndrome. This condition can be caused by viral inflammation of the liver, for example, hepatitis. The liver is the only organ capable of storing glucose reserves. And since our brain gets energy only from glucose, then, in fact, the liver is responsible for the backup power of the brain. Pain in the legs. Liver disease often causes non-inflammatory damage to nerve fibers in the legs. With hepatic pathologies, tickling sensations in the legs or unexplained pain may occur. In general, almost any serious liver damage can lead to pain or swelling in the legs. Nail fungus. If you experience changed color of the nails, if they've become rough or stratified, if they've lost their shine, if white spots appear under them and the skin of the feet began to peel off, most likely you have nail fungus. But how can fungus be related to the liver? It's simple. People with an unhealthy liver have a disturbed balance of intestinal microflora, which can cause nail fungus, as well as dandruff and seborrhea. A study published in 2009 in the Journal of the European Academy of Dermatology and Venereology showed that nail fungus develops more often with cirrhosis of the liver and also with a viral hepatitis B and C. Erythema. This is an area of severely reddened, irritated skin. Such redness often appears when infected with worms, but not only. It also occurs due to liver diseases, namely with cirrhosis or acute viral or autoimmune hepatitis. Also, erythema may be caused by gallbladder disease, cholecystitis, cholangitis or organ tumors. According to statistics, one in 10 cases of adverse reactions to the drug ends with severe liver intoxication. The most common causes of liver problems. So, for a modern person, the most common causes of liver diseases are the following. Side effect of medications, excess sugar in the diet, canned food, lack of fresh raw foods in the diet, which overloads the liver and kidneys. Not enough vegetables in the diet, the body does not receive enough enzymes and antioxidants. Alcohol consumption, excess protein in the diet, this leads to the formation of a large number of nitrogenous metabolic products which overload the liver and kidneys. Disclaimer. The described methods do not make an accurate diagnosis. They only give you knowledge about the signs by which you can suspect liver problems. Each of these signs individually may indicate other diseases. But if you detect one or more of these signs, we recommend consulting a doctor. This content is for informational and educational purposes only. Consult with a doctor or healthcare professional before following any recommendations provided in this video. Tell us about your experience in the comments and subscribe to our channel.